Good morning and welcome to this episode of Superior Angling. Season four, we are up here in northern Minnesota on the Pelican Lake. You may be wondering what we're doing up here, chasing crappies, chasing bluegills. No, we're gonna go out here and we're gonna fish walleyes. We've never done this before. We have Eggsy, we have Wilson, and we're gonna see how the day plays out. We're gonna take our knowledge of walleye fishing from lakes like Mille Lacs, Lake Gull Lake, over in the Brainerd Lakes area, and apply that here. A little more clear water, um, some deep basin structure where we can get after and chase these early season walleyes. Again, we don't really know what's gonna happen, how the day's gonna play out, but we do know the water's a little more clear out there so we're gonna take full advantage of low light situations. Um, early morning, late evening, middle of the day may be a struggle. We don't know how the day's gonna play out. It's a little bit breezy, a little cold. We have a cold front coming in, overcast skies. Stick with us, it's gonna be a good one. Fish, big fish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Big fish, big fish. Now that's a sweet October musky. Fish, 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 fish. That's a big Atlantic, boys. We have arrived. We are going to drill some holes. We've kind of set up in an area here. I know it's, it's pitch black out, but out in front of us here is kind of a deep trench. Back behind us is shallow water. Pelican Lake is a very shallow lake. A lot of it is tons of weeds, but there's a couple deep pockets and some structure, and that's what we're gonna be targeting here today. So we're gonna drill some holes with the ion. We are going to set out iFish Pros as well. We have, we've got a bunch of big shiny minnows. Those are yeah. nice minnows we got from, uh, what is it, Norman's there? Yep. Um, very nice minnows. So we're gonna take advantage of the two lines per person and definitely utilize these iFish Pros, especially up on the shallow parts. We're gonna be jigging out a little bit deeper right away this morning, but we're gonna put these up shallow um, and get away from these. Um, iFish Pros are very efficient at catching fish when they're shallow and no noise. So we're gonna put these out and step back away from these maybe 20, 30, 40 yards and just let these sit in silence up in the shallows when these walleyes push up to feed. So that's kind of the game plan here. We've gotta get, get some holes drilled, um, get some camera gear out, but it is windy out here, it's cold. It's uh, kind of tough conditions and the temperature throughout the day is just going to be on the decline. Um, we have some snow coming in tonight and then super, super cold weather behind that system. So we got our work cut out for us. We have one day to make this happen. We definitely need some fish this morning and we're banking on a good evening bite. So let's get some holes drilled and get some lines in the water. Sounds good. When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, Call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose. And that is why we exist. Because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. Hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on into Marine General and get outdoors with us. 
Now through March 29th, take advantage of rebates up to $3,000 on select Lund boats from RJ Sport & Cycle located in Duluth. We sell everything from fiberglass ties and Pro-Vs, perfect for the big water and space for the family, to tillers, side councils, pontoons, and much more. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to answer all your questions and to help get you into your next Lund boat. Visit us in-store or online at rjsportandcycle.com today. Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in ESCO. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snowplows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wittis Trailer Sales in ESCO, where customers become friends. Well, today on the iFish Pro setup this morning, um, we're using the Croy Custom Ice 36 medium light. It is a perfectly good parabolic bend at the tip, easy for fighting those fish on, on smaller trebles. We're using one of the, I don't even think they make them anymore, it's a Rapala VMC, I think it was called a, a Sure Set hook. And uh, it's perfect, that bigger part of the treble fits perfectly down the back of the spine of a of a shiner minnow or whatever you're using. There we go. Just like that. And as Wilson said earlier, these are the 36 inch medium light CCI rods. I love this 36 inch length. It's great for an iFish Pro. I'm guessing these iFish Pros are gonna outproduce our, our jigging baits, but you just never know. Just in my experiences when it's, you have windy, windy weather like this, these fish are, are a little less aggressive, but again, you never know. This is a this is a new lake. It's unknown to us. We're going off no information other than what we know about walleyes and their early season movements and how active they are this time of year. So we got our bait set up about a foot off bottom, and hopefully this is going to go off. I like to set these iFish Pros as loose as I can. Sometimes you get false trips, but it's worth it in my mind if you have a big fish come who's shy, who's timid, he feels a little resistance, he's gonna drop that bait. And the nice part about these is you can set these very, very loose. So, I mean, just the, just the drop of a pin would set this off. That's exactly what I like. Let's get after it. Not even a pike? Well, Truth be told, that was a brutal morning. Not one fish. Wilson and Eggsy both kind of missed uh, missed one, but they weren't good solid bites. That was a very, I don't even know what the right word is for that, um, underwhelming morning. We expected it to be, you know, kind of hot and heavy, kind of, you know, taking advantage of that first light conditions, but I don't know if it was a spot we were in, if it was the weather. We went to bed last night at the hotel and there was no wind. We woke up this morning and there is wind, you know, blowing at least 10, 15 miles an hour. So um, I don't know if that kind of challenged us a little bit or what, but we are going to pull up our iFish Pros for now and go on the hunt and kind of locate high, you know, areas that we think are going to be high percentage that would hold fish. Of course, we thought this would be a high percentage area and it was a, you know, barren tundra. You know, there's nothing here, but we're gonna bounce around. Um, we have about you know four hours midday here where it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough go at it. But if you know if we can get a couple fish, we'll be we'll be happy. But we just have to move around and fish, be impatient, fish an area for five minutes here and there, just drill a ton of holes, and then you know kind of roll the dice and hope for a good evening bite and uh, you know try to find a spot that we can come and set up on for the evening. So I, we're not gonna be back into this spot. I'll tell you that much. But we're gonna go. Um, you know, put, put some miles on the four wheelers here and drive around and try to grind out some midday fish and then roll the dice and try to try to get lucky and land on a, a good spot for the evening bite. So let's get after it. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Yep, Mike, I'll take all the help I can get. That's a big fish, big head shakes. This is our midday bite, guys. This is our midday bite. 
Take it easy. This is, it's running, it's running, it's running. Big fish, big fish, big fish. Look at that. Take it easy. I wonder if this is that one you graphed. The, the whatever I graphed. You graphed a big one not too long ago. Big, just right over there. The, Look at these head shakes. Come on, come tail. on. It's a big fish. The Midday, move, being impatient. Move paid off. You got to move holes. What is this going to be? This is a big fish. Does it feel heavy? Yeah, it feels heavy. It feels really heavy. You can just tell the big head shakes. I was talking to you and looking over there. I looked back and the mark barely came up off bottom. Just slow and steady or yep. like really well, fast? Well, yeah, I mean, it's just, I was jigging right next to bottom. It's running, it's running. And you, oh, there it is. Big, big walleye. Big fish. Big, big fish. Walleye. Oh my Got gosh, it. Wilson. Got it. Wilson. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. Oh my wow, goodness. Wow, is that a trophy fish? What a fish. Holy smokes. Wilson, that's all of 29? It's big. Let's get this out because it's so windy. Guys. Nice fish, man. Holy. You are not <sighs> losing that fish. <sighs> right in the snow. My hand's numb. Well, he just barely came up and I just felt a tick. He's got it. He's got my glove. I'm glad we... That, nice. that wasn't in there that great. Look at that fish, guys. That is... A Kong. That's huge. That's like a 10 pound barbell, man. Nice. Bam! That's what you're talking Holy about. Smoke, that's why you jump around and be impatient midday. I, I don't even know why it's like that lived in here. Right? I was fishing this hole for 20 seconds. We're out here on pure speculation. I mean, you just got to get out and try stuff, try new stuff. That's just, that is so rewarding. Just fishing high percentage areas midday. It's like high noon right now. That's what we needed. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I was talking to, I don't even remember that fish hitting very much, but I just dropped my jig to bottom, brought it up, and just felt the boom. I saw a little blip come up on the RT, but that was it. But man, that pays off. That is so incredible. That makes the day right there, guys. That makes the day. What a fish. We're gonna keep going at it. I gotta warm up a little bit. Bam. All right, hands are warmed up. We're getting back in. Back in action, that big fish just came on a buckshot rattle spoon with a minnow head. A little cross lock snap on there so we can easily change lures. We have fluoro, six pound fluorocarbon to some braided main line. And this is a 36 inch medium outside eye CCI rod from St. Croix. Um, it's all about matching the rod to the weight of lure that you're using. If I'm gonna fish up on top of this kind of reef that we're on right here, which is, you know, the top of it's just 20 feet right there, I'm gonna grab a new rod because I'm gonna use a lot lighter lure than I have on here fishing off the side of it in 23, 24 feet. So 23, 24, I'm using a quarter ounce or heavier. This 36 inch medium is a great rod for that. You just wanna use a rod where you have total control of your lure, of your spoon, and you know, that's gonna, help you put fish on the ice like that walleye. All right, so what we found here is, I'll kind of zoom in here on, on the Navionics. It's, it's just kind of a, a reef structure that, that goes in, so it runs directly towards that island. Um, it, comes up, it comes up really, really shallow. So out in here, it's you know, 23, 24, 25 feet, and back behind me, not very far at all, is 10, 11, 12 feet. So, Again, we're just going to focus on small little structure points like this that we, we perceive as being high percentage areas where maybe there's an active fish on it. We can drop down on it, you know, jig for five minutes and hopefully catch one. If not, move on to the next. So we're traveling light, no ice houses, no nothing, just the bare minimums in the sled there. I'm um, just going to kind of fish in a very impatient manner. And now it's time for this week's Markham Moment, brought to you by Markham Technologies. All right, out here on the ice all day, temps this cold. You're working hard, you're drilling holes, you're moving a lot. You do get thirsty, you do get hot. So you wanna bring water with you, but I mean, we've been out here for 10 minutes and this is already starting to freeze. It's so cold out here. What you do, half gallon Yeti jug, dump, the, dump your bottles of water into here. You can have water to drink all day long. No matter how cold it gets, it is not gonna freeze inside here. It acts as an insulator. That keeps you hydrated out on the ice from sunup to sundown.
Look at that. We just had a spot change here not too long ago. It was completely dead for us. And Grant just caught an absolute giant of a walleye. And uh, I, I just missed one literally like five minutes after he caught that fish. So I went and rebaited and sent it back down there and it wasn't two seconds and this fish came and hit. So we're starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Grant, uh, where he caught his big fish is actually on the other side of this reef. So it's like whole reef and then whole. And uh, we're kind of just bouncing back and forth and we got on a little pot of active fish and that's all it takes. So we're gonna, we're gonna take advantage of it and let this guy go. Fish, nice. Drag's a little too loose. Crazy. That feels like, that feels like a good one. That feels like a good one. Man, still midday. Still midday in a new spot and it's fish on. Get my deucer out of here. Wilson's back there running around picking up our gear. We just changed. We just changed spots. It's a good fish. Again, it just pays to stay active. Keep moving around. There it is. That's a good walleye. Oh, look at that gill flare. That's a nice walleye right there, guys. Beautiful, probably 19 incher. Healthy, healthy fish. Posing for the camera. That buckshot spoon right in the corner of the mouth. What a fish that is. Isn't that funny? Like, who would guess on a, her gill plate got me there. On a clear body of water like this, barely hooked, the morning bite would be like non-existent, irrelevant, and midday now, that's three walleyes. That may go 20 inches. Um, that's three beautiful walleyes in the middle of the day. So I'm excited to see what this evening's gonna bring. That's a heck of a fish, but it hit, it came up and hit, hit pretty good. I mean, they're active, 22 feet of water. This is another 22 foot hole. I mean, that's just magic. That's a magic number midday like this. We're starting to get them figured out a little bit, piece by piece, but everything's gonna change as we get closer to, to e the evening here. Let's get that fish back before her fins freeze. Still sticking with that gold Northland spoon with the rattle in there, perch colored. But yeah, Wilson's grabbing the rest of our gear. We're gonna get some more lines down here and drill, do some more drilling, but I did, again, it's just kind of another hump here and I did some drilling that's shallow, shallow up around in here and then it drops off. And again, this is kind of the base of the lake right here where it's 22 feet. And that's where that fish was. It's a pattern, we're starting to get her, we're starting to get her figured out. First time on a lake, you just never know what to expect. But hey, we got out here, out here early. We uh, gave it our all and have no regrets about that, but kind of discouraging, but you just keep, continue to push on and grind away and you're gonna have, have success. And I have a feeling that's gonna get pretty crazy tonight, so. Just a middle head, bam, down there, boom, I love it. That's uh, my fish, bro. That's me. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to you. Wow. Big one, too. <laughs> oh, I love these. Eggs, you want to come and give me a hand, please? Just in case. He's really nice. We were all just jigging up a fish here by the four wheeler. The four wheeler was kind of. What is that? The four wheeler was blocking the wind from us, and all of a sudden Grant goes, Hi, right, fish pro! Middle of the day here, we're both a two o'clock hour now, and uh, still. Still steady on this one spot here. Oh, it's a, looks like a pike. That's all right, action's action. It's always fun to catch fish on these. Is it? Yeah. Holy cow, look at that! Yeah! What another beautiful fish. We've only caught a few. It was right slow this morning. We've never been on this lake for, for walleye specifically. And uh, we thought, what the heck, we're gonna try it out. And we're slowly figuring it out. We kind of found a little area now where we're on each side of a reef. It's a little bit deeper now. We actually have a local or somebody that is not too far away from us now. So, but the quality of fish that we've we've iced so far is is unbelievable. I can't wait to see what uh, 
the rest of the day brings. It's perfect. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Wow, I'm cold. The Great Outdoors is headed indoors for the Duluth Sports Show and Northland Deer Classic. Stroll through the Rainforest Animal Exhibit. View the wonder and majesty of the ocean and more at the Virtual Reality Experience. Visit the Pheasant Forever Youth Village. Take a selfie at the interactive 3D Street Art Illusion. Marvel over a world-class shed antler display. Attend seminars on RVing, fishing, and hunting. Family fun starts February 12th at the deck in Duluth. Minnesotasportshow.com. This winter, take charge on the ice with the Phantom Lures Budzo. Available in three sizes, ranging from one-fifth to three-eighths ounce, the Budzo is ideal for every fishing scenario. With its internal rattle and 12 vibrant fish-catching colors, this lure is sure to be your top bait on the ice. Ideal for big walleyes in the shallows, aggressive trout out deep, and slab-sized crappies in the basin, the Budzo is a proven fish-catching machine. Check them out online at phantomlures.com or in-store at Marine General in Duluth today. This week's health tip is brought to you by St. Luke's, the patient above all else. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Lund. I'm an infectious disease physician at St. Luke's Hospital in Duluth, Minnesota. Here's today's health tip. When pickling fish which is delicious. I love pickled northern. Remember that to effectively kill all of the potential tapeworms and parasites in fish, that it needs to be pickled appropriately. You should freeze the fish to zero degrees Fahrenheit for at least 48 hours before brining and pickling your fish. This will kill all of the potentially dangerous parasites. Enjoy your pickled northern. We have put all the eggs in one basket. We're rolling the dice, going all in on this spot right here for the evening bite. Again, morning was a bust. Midday was like excellent. I mean, you can't ask for any more than that. Two big fish, two you know nice 20, 21 inches. But now is the evening, and we need a big evening for something to happen here. So we have high expectations. And what I like about this spot is. It's not, it doesn't stick out on a map and be like, okay, we're gonna go here. You know, it's kind of it's kind of a little more subtle. The contours on Navionics aren't exactly right. We did a lot of drilling and we found some really cool looking structure here that I think this is a spot that doesn't get fished as much as other areas that are obvious and the contours are spot on on your mapping, uh, on your map contours. So what we got right here is 15 feet right here. This hole right here. That's eight, so I mean it goes, there's big boulders here. It drops off to 16, 17, 18 around here. And yeah, we're just gonna kind of spread out, put out some iFish Pros and swing for the fences and hope for the best. That's about all we can do. So again, we don't really know what to expect. We thought the morning was gonna be good. It was a complete and total bust. We still have our wind. The conditions are pretty much the same for the evening here, but hopefully your evenings are gonna be better. I can kind of compare this to, to Gull Lake over in the Brainerd Lakes area with my, fishing with my buddy Hayes. Mornings are tough, but evenings are excellent. So we're hoping that's gonna be the case here today. We'll see what happens. Stick with us, hopefully it'll get fun. Never ever been walleye fishing here in my life. And we're icing beautiful walleyes like that. Check that out. On one of the new custom Croy rods. Just a beautiful fish. Look at that. Wow. We've actually been marking uh, quite a few fish on the Markhams here and jigging them up. And this is one of the, the first fish to go on the high fish pros. 
check that baby out. Let's get her back. Let's get this baby set back up and lightly skin hook it. And I always bring that big hook back towards the head because the fish is always going to eat it head first. And it still has plenty of wiggle room. When the fish comes in and eat it, it's going to get that bigger hook. It swims just perfect. Oh, he's coming up at me. He's coming up. Oh, my God. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's just dead weight. That feels like a good walleye. That feels like a good walleye. I'm in a little bit deeper hole right here. We put a couple off up shallow. I'm kind of off the side of this break right now. Just do it right here. Late evening, my drink's frozen. It is cold out here. It's windy. Come on, baby. I got a light, light drag on this one. This is a really light setup that I have on here. We're just kind of bouncing around using some different lures. This is four point test line with a lighter jig and the perch seeker rod. Look at that walleye. That is a beautiful Pelican Lake walleye right there. What, Wilson? Wilson's got one. Wilson's got one. Is that a fish? That's a fish? What do you have? Oh my gosh, Mike. Oh my gosh, Mike. Wait. You got him? Oh, guys. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that. That is Woo! huge. Grab, that. grab your fish, grab your fish. Wilson, you're making mine look small. Doubles, <laughs> doubles guys. Oh, right you cannot make that up. This is incredible. Look at that. Incredible. Yours popped right out. I can't get mine out. There what we go. A short window of like opportunity. Just magic guys. We've been grinding all day long and this is what you wait for right now. This time of day. This time of night, that's a tank. <laughs> Who'd ever think Pelican Lake for walleyes? Not me. No, no. <laughs> this is a solid fish, but that dwarfs this. Never in my life. I've been here bass fishing so many times, you don't even understand. Buddy, buddy. And, uh, that's incredible. We just decided, hey, what the heck, let's try to drop some minnows down for these. Three. Right. Got him. Got him. This is madness, guys. Absolute madness. Look at that. This Big dog head shakes. This is another good fish. Yeah, well, why don't you come and help me real quick? He's wrapped. There we go. He's right here. There he is. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that walleye. Oh my goodness. What a day it's been. Look at the average size. Just the average size fish. I mean, I don't even know if you can see this that good in the camera or not, but. I mean, your average fish is going well over 20 inches. I mean, that's just, where else can you do that? I mean, I mean, you'd never expect it to be done here. I mean, let's put it that way. Let's get her back. It's dark. I think we're going to keep fishing, but I don't know how much longer. It's cold out here. Windy. We've, we're windy. We've had a heck of a day. If this is the last fish, thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time.